So hey, it's Rob. We're out in the tent today. Uh, it's winter, and you know the snow has fallen, and it's uh, on the ground outside. But because of that, we're going to work on the snow blower. And as it turns out, we have to do some uh, work on the carburetor. And I don't know if you can see it very well. I'll try and get it right there. But this, where are we? There we go. This is the carburetor float bowl. And it is relatively easily accessible here. So I'm going to try and take it off without having to remove that shroud. Wish me luck. Okay, there's two bolts on here. There's this one on the bottom and this one that's up a little bit on the side. This one is a drain plug. So what you want to do is make sure that all the gasoline is out of the engine. I ran it dry last time I had the engine running. When I take this out, there's just that little bit of gas left. Oh well. And then, I will remove the float bowl. It's at a kind of a difficult angle, but there's a pin in here that slides back and forth a little bit. And if I can get a hold of it, it should just pull right out. And it does. I thought I was going to get lucky and not have to take that shroud off, but it looks like I'm going to have to take the shroud off. Alright, that's a little bit better shot. I'm going to try and get that jet out of there.
Okay, I finally got it out. This is the carburetor jet. And if you can see all these little holes in here, those little holes are clogged with varnish that's left over from last season's gas. I was dumb and I left the gas in the tank. So, I'm going to use some very fine wire to clean out those little holes as they are nicely set perpendicular. Okay, this goes in with the fat end down. Turn that up until it seats. Put this back on, make sure that this O-ring seal is back in here and that this drain plug is facing out. This bolt with the little washer on it goes on the bottom. This one with the black washer is the drain plug. Now we gotta put the shroud back on. Yay! <laughs> 